Hey, good morning, everybody. I forgot to do an end of day. Man, it was, uh, um, pouring rain. I was trying, I thought I, I set a rest area as my parking spot. And, man, it was jammed. Which is funny because not so I left and I figured well I'll just go to the next rest area which is on the other side of Columbus and just go from there well about just as I got up to speed there was an exit with a flying J so I figured you know what the heck I'll just take a chance um the last couple truck stops I went by, it looked like there was quite a few spots still left in them, and it was 8 o'clock at night. So I'm like, ah, I'll give it a try. Holy crap, this thing had a crap load of spots open. So I backed in here and just relaxed a bit and then forgot to do the end of day. Sorry about that. All right, um, we just did our pre-trip. Um, we want to get through Columbus um, on the earlier side, and that, and then we'll get to our next truck stop. And so far, it's still showing the same amount of open spots, prime spots, as yesterday. So uh, it's got 190 parking spots there so it may be something like this where you know it's just ain't a busy weekend along this um corridor because worst case scenario i'll just i'll back in uh, if i can't find anything too much in the free um because i'm in the back lot here but i got to do my clothes so if I can find something in the middle row and that, that would be cool. Um, I'll just uh, pay for spot. But if I can get away with that, that'd be even better. Um, that's about it for right now. We'll see you in a little bit once we get rolling. Just a little uh, update. When they loaded it, it's like three. Uh, three big bins. You know, the bulk liquid containers. And they, it totaled like 30,000 pounds. And they put it all in the nose. So it doesn't extend back very far. I mean... My guess is it's close to half the trailer. So I, you know, by the time I could scale, it was, I was an hour away from the place. So it was like, well, never mind, because there's not much more I can do about it. So since I stopped at this flying jet there, well, down a three quarters of a tank of fuel. So 40 times eight. 320 pounds. Um, short of my gross weight. Came out to 11,440, 32,960, so I'm probably 33 something, and then 19,3 on the trailer. I wish, in a way, that this was my trailer. I was carrying E-Track load bars, because then um, I could have had them next time spread it 800 out. 800 feet, turn right onto the I-71 north ramp to Columbus. So, uh, it would be uh, a little more even. I'm surprised it's not something that's going to be right on the I-71 north ramp. 
God, I got two women talking to me at the same time. In half a mile, merge onto I-71 North. parking spots and, uh, um, I don't see <laughs> where it's open and that, so that would 
really screw anybody that really needed to get it. And this is listed as a thing. Must be an old petrol or, or TA or something because it's got uh, the old idle air system here. Kind of, uh, they had a I mean, the tires are flat, and it's a cherry picker, you know, the scissors lift. Kind of went real slow. I nudged it a little bit. Um, but, yeah, you can tell that thing hasn't been used in years. The tires are all flat. They're throwing crap on top of it. I don't know what the hell they're using it for, but... I kind of grabbed what would be a first spot. Because um, the pathway here would be the drive through for the clean energy uh, pumps. But uh, I don't know. I would have to think this thing gets busy. Um, but that's it. All right. We'll see you on Monday. Unless something interesting happens this weekend. And uh, you all have a good weekend.